March 3rd, 1986 with uh, a good friend of mine and, and a fine steel guitar player and, and a man who's had a big influence on country music in the Tampa Bay area for several years. Mr. Johnny Boyce, and Johnny, I just wanted to ask you and, and let you reflect on some things that have happened to you recently in country music and, and uh, let, let us know what you're doing right now as far as country goes. Just playing three nights a week at, at the uh, Brandon and I on Dale Mabry and enjoying it very much. And, uh, Got some mighty fine jammers coming out on Sunday night, including Brad Rigby and uh, Johnny South and Bob Rippey and Sitch, Richie Hodges, some mighty fine musicians. And, uh, you know, I've been playing music since I was, since 1957, since I was a young and uh, there's nothing I enjoy better than to be with these fellas. Thanks, Johnny. We uh, one thing I want to say is Johnny Boyce is uh, is one of the few guys around town who has the respect. And uh, the respect and dedication of all the all the country musicians in town. Johnny is a is a man who's respected and loved by everyone around town. Um, I just want to say that, and, and also want to ask Johnny here this evening, uh, what he feels has been a key, uh, the key to his success. What has been the key to your success? Do you think up to this point in country music, John? Well, I feel like teaching my two boys uh, is one of the biggest success I've made in country music. And, uh, they're, they're, they're two of the uh, finest musicians in town, and uh, if anybody ever hears them, I don't think they'd ever doubt that. You know, they're uh, both fine singers and both fine musicians.